Your daily hour with me. Yeah. You got better. Hey everybody, it's the program. The pink rotating <laughs> asteroid. We're on TV. The only show where a pink rotating asteroid turns into a green uh, postmodern clock. That's right. It's Friday. And the only show with Luke, well, actually, that's not true either, but Luke, <laughs> Luke is here. Hi, Luke. Yes, Luke is high. You're high? Yeah, I'm so high. What did you do? Did you, are you high on life? Luke is not. Oh, you said hi? You says hi? Cosmic rays, man. High on the sun? Or the sun night? Sun or whatever. Life? Cosmic rays? How do you know? This, this is how I act. This yeah, is, maybe he. This is how I act when I'm it. high. Maybe he snuck his drugs in while you weren't looking. I mean, you, can, you couldn't have followed him every oh, like every I'm, minute for. I'm the most boring high person you could ever encounter. How long does it take to get high? <laughs> uh, well, we're tied for most boring person high. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How are you? <laughs> we're we're okay. Uh, we, we could be better. We could be having an orgy with a lot of people we like to have orgies with, but we're not. That's, that verges on the main TMI. That's, you don't want to hear about orgies, Carl? TMI. STDs and everything else. Is that, is that what you, you could say that? Do you say that all the time, though? People ask you how you're doing? You say, well, I'm not having an orgy. So that that's your, that's, that's your number one activity. That's my opening line. <laughs> that's your... That, that's your benchmark, bro. That's the best thing you could possibly do it, be doing. That's your benchmark, bro. Of of all things, orgy. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's what you want. Where you want to be doing. Uh, I don't know. No, no. No. Okay. Not uh, the, not the orgy thing, but perhaps you know, making love with a with a a person that I really love. You know. Love. That, that would you, be even you, better. You're not in love right now, maybe in general. Oh, hell no. Hell no. You're looking for love. Well, I'm not looking for it either, but you know. But you I'm could not. be, and it, may, it would it would make you better, maybe. I would feel great. <laughs> I would feel great with that. Yeah. Great. Well, it's the winter. I think we can re we can record this and wait for February. And the winter is cold outside. <laughs> it's cold outside. It's time for uh, sex. Yeah. Maybe sex. for this. Yeah. Yeah, get down Either by the fire and stuff. It's cold outside, get close. Either sex or USB cables. I well, think USB cables rock. Luke, when was the last time you were here? I don't know. You know I always answer that question with, I don't know. I bet. You I, know more about when I was last here than I was. I actually I think know. I do, might know because I, it might, <laughs> it might have been at, the last time there was karaoke only. Probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So the the was the third Friday. I think that's probably the last time he was here. Was that for that or? Because, unless it was. No, what was sooner was the was the the studio episode of this thing with dance. Oh, dance. You were here since then, also though. Really? Or maybe, maybe yeah, I'm. Yeah, that's right. I'm because I talked about that episode when I was last on here. I remember doing that. So you were here for some other reason. Was there? Was it for Fellowship of Reconciliation? Yeah, I guess so. And when is that? Is that on a day two of like? I don't know. He don't was know. he was there at the last one though, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was like filling in for. Uh, we were talking about. Um, for Bird. By Two Minutes Streets that yeah. time. Uh, yeah. Yeah. How was the week or the couple of weeks, Luke? Did you see anything on the streets in the last two week, three weeks? No, but suddenly, suddenly we just saw some stuff on the way over here. Uh huh. Like an ambulance, yeah. a red one, you know. Yeah. And uh, a police, two police cars having pulled over somebody on you know that street behind Evergreen. Oh. Yeah. 
So we saw some stuff. I mean, what, what exciting what, rotating lights and stuff. Did you see the people who were getting uh, interrogated or whatever by the police? Ticketed. Uh, yeah, ticketed. Uh, talked to. Mic working? Yeah, it's on. Is it? It's on. I think it's not on. I, I have it. I yeah. Have it on the it's on the switch, but see. Yeah, no sound. No sound. Something's wrong. Something's wrong with it. One of these plugs. <gasps> one of these plugs is not working. Right. Um. God damn it. I'm now, Carl. Speak. 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 La, 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 la. No, uh-oh, uh-oh. Is that the right mic? Is that the mic that we had been using? Yep. I think it might might be have gotten messed up somehow. Where's the cap? How about now? Oh. Some oh yeah, there you go. How about Luke? Luke, you still working? Yeah. Oh good. Well, hey, what did you say, Carl? Did you were you saying something when we were? Yeah. Uh, when we were out behind the Evergreen Sea College, we saw uh, three cars. One of them had, was a squad car because it had the rotating lights. The third car was, you know, the, the vehicle that they, the squad car had stopped. But um, there was a second car that didn't have its rotating lights on. And so I was like, hmm, is that really a police car or is it not? And I guess it makes sense that it would be the police car because the police doesn't want, you know, you know, to talk to two different drivers at once. Uh-huh. So, I, yeah, but, um, you know, having two police cars come over and, and um, interrogate, you know, one driver, you know, I guess that, that could be kind of... It like, happens. Yeah, it, it that does happen. Especially out there, I think there's a lot of police and not as much crime as police. Well, th yeah, either that or someone could be in officer in training or um, who knows how, how come um, Carl's mic is still way quieter than the other is two? it I'm not quiet I don't think I think I'm it's not quiet <laughs> I think it's am I quiet no I think you're not I think it's quite loud. <laughs> okay I'm not quiet I I also saw some emergency vehicles today I saw them out there by downtown Olympia, and uh, there was like three. Uh, there was like a car wreck. Like two cars had like, collided into each other. And what intersection? Fifth and Plum, I think. Wow. Yeah. Over there by that gas station. Yeah, right by the gas station. And there was a. Uh, Two cars had collided, and there was like three fire trucks and police officer and ambulance. And I saw another ambulance go there. I think something bad happened. Could have been something wild. Oh no. Yeah. Well, that's it for street stuff? Yeah, uh, pretty much. Street stuff. Well, you know, there's this thing inside Carl's car. So, come on. Yeah. <laughs> there is. is there really private? is. There's a thing inside Carl's car. Is it private? What? No. No, it's not oh. private at all. It's a little toy thing. It's a keychain kind of toy trinket thing. And, the, and, and it looks like a ghost. It looks like, uh, you know, the Slimer from Ghostbusters or something. I think it's something. Geodude, the Pokemon. Yes. Yeah, Geodude. All right. Well, anyway, I saw that in the car. And um, Carl said, you know, you could say that on the program. You could say that uh, you saw that in my car. And so I'm doing that right now, you know. Uh -huh. But there's more to it than that because, like, it was sort of something on the street because, like, Carl told me a story. He said... <laughs> He said, I found this thing in the parking lot, and I put it in my car. Parking lot. You know, that's pretty close to a street, you know? Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, I, su I put four and five together and got whatever I wanted. <laughs> and one and two. <laughs> <laughs> I said, we could talk about that, too, on the program yeah. as a street thing. And we got yeah. instantly uh, an hour or a minute wasted out of the hour. Yeah, so. we did it. Yeah, we did it. We nice. Did it. We worked. <laughs> we we got another. We got another minute in the box. 
<laughs> Damn, Damn slunk. Dice game. Whee. <laughs> or slam dunk, I mean. Yeah, it's time for the dice game. Let's get out a pen here. We're going to write numbers down our hands between one and six. Yeah. Inclusive of one and six. All right. Uh, we go. I think the park. I think parking lots are kind of streets. Like they're definitely yeah, con con like connected by hard roads to the street. Yeah, they're also bituminous. I still don't know <laughs> what the bituminous is. Oh, you. We have yet to ask about bituminous. Uh, ask somebody know, who contacts the show. Since you were on the program, we kind of forgot. Sometimes I think about how every driveway in the country. Unless you're down a dirt road, is connected by cement or asphalt. Isn't that kind of crazy to think about? Except railroad tracks cut the continuity of of asphalt. I think it, I mean, but it's still like pretty much there. The the super freeway system, yeah, it kind of connects. You know, is this crazy you could probably get from here to to New York City or Buffalo, New York, or something. Yeah. You know, uh, on a con continuous slab of of uh, road. Yeah, you get in your car. Or whatever. Unsliced by railroad. You get in your car and you can drive places uh, yeah. all the way on the other side of the country without ever leaving a road. Yeah. Number one, I lost. Me too. I'm a loser. How about you, Carl? Are Baby, you a loser? So why don't you kill me? I was almost going to go for one, but then I chose another number. Me too. So that's what won? happens. Details to follow on what number I chose. Nobody won then, huh? Nobody, Nobody predicted won. the future the right way. We predicted the wrong future. We got some messages from John Webster. All right. Yeah. Does he still want a girlfriend? Uh, I don't know. Probably. We went to visit him yesterday. Yeah. And you had pizza. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good pizza eating experience. Could Carl tell you about that, or how'd you? Yeah, yeah, he, he told me about eating pizza instead of actually recording an episode. <laughs> yeah, and we messed it up. Yeah. And he was also telling me that it was fortunate that, that you didn't actually have to stay long enough to record a whole episode because of your allergicness to the cat. Yeah, the, the cat was yeah. hitting me a little bit. I was sneezing and getting... I think I actually later on I figured out that it was also the pizza. I also ate like a lot of pizza really fast, and I don't know if I can handle that anymore. Oh. Uh. Like, I ate like... Maybe two thirds of a pizza. But does eating two thirds of a pizza really fast make you sneeze and I runny nose? I think it just made me kind of yucky feeling. Nauseous. Yeah. Like it just well, maybe I didn't get nauseous until later on, but it was just bogging me down a little bit, and it definitely wasn't helping the sneezing. Yeah. All well, right. anytime you eat that much bread, I think you would also need to drink a lot of water for it. To kind of pass through your body. So, it's also digest. Like soda. I yeah, blame I yeah. blame more the cheese and the grease for the icky feeling than the bread. Oh, okay. I would, maybe maybe I the would pepperoni blame that too. The pepperoni wasn't helping either. So, well, I I blame the bread more than the cheese. No, whenever I beat if whenever it was I you. eat the pizza, I bring the blame the bread because. Well, you eat that entire block of cheese like a madman, though. So. <laughs> You, you don't have a <laughs> well, yes, I am mad. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. But I've never seen anybody ever seen Carl do the ch cheese block challenge. Uh, <laughs> no, it's no, a I lot of never cheese. saw the challenge. Eight ounces. Oh yeah, I always call it the like cheese block minutes. challenge. It's not really a challenge for him, but he's a lot of cheese all at once. I couldn't handle that much cheese. Wow. Yeah. But um, I, I, I think that if if you um, the 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 bread in the pizza, I I believe um, is like. M more hard on the stomach just because it. No, sits. the cheese is harder. The, the cheese. Cooked, um, cooked cheese is especially hard. It says my my sister. Hard told on me. your stomach. Well, well uh, cheese. If you heat it up, it's liquid, and liquid like just like goes through your body. Like. Yeah, but you eat it, and it's a liquid, kind of. Yeah. But then it solidifies in your stomach, so it's not that hot. Uh, okay, but you know you can't say the same about bread. Bread just kind of like it sticks there in your stomach, and it has to mull around in your stomach to. Yeah, you but know. the bread is is base, and the cheese is has a lot of you know, fattiness and grease and stuff in it. And I think so. I think I think that the cheese is more of the cheese than the bread. Well, yeah, I I would kind of I like actually I don't. If you I, ate a piece of bread, Carl. <laughs> Let Kenny have this one. Let him. Let him. 
let him uh, let him be uh, messed up by cheese. Uh, you can be messed yeah, up by yeah, bread. Carl has an aversion this, to bread. I difference. always tell him. I no, always tell I, Carl when he's eating his cheese blocks. I say, Carl, why don't you get some crackers? Why don't you get well, some the, crackers with that? Not that I have an aversion to bread. It's just that you have like this little pinhole or whatever at the edge of your stomach that it needs to go through to carry on with your digestive system. Yeah, but that's, that's why you really chew. Small hole that's why you chew. Send. Well, yeah, of course. And I do chew food. You know, chew I Chew thoroughly. I don't know if I chewed enough. <laughs> if you chew thoroughly, the bread will be well, small I, pieces. You should be able to digest the food. If I don't chew, then I, I would be gagging, like, constantly. I don't think I, the bread is, like, blocking <laughs> you up on the inside. It's not that much. It, it goes... It, it breaks down with water. Yeah. And you put a little bit of water in it. There's water exactly, in your stomach. That's the point. There's water in your stomach already and stomach acids and stuff. Like, yeah. that bread's not going to back you up unless you got some kind of, like, celiac disease or something. I well, don't. No, but yeah, but that's the point. You, you know, on I the wasn't other like hand, backed up from the you, bread was clogging my guts. Well, it was more that the cheese was just affecting me in a different way, not clogging. Well, I don't think the I don't think the viscosity of either food product is what is causing the discomfort. Like okay. just because the bread is more like you know solid than the cheese, then like it's not like yeah, it's not the solidness of food that makes you sick or not. It's it's other factors of the food. If it was just the solidness of food, then you wouldn't ever eat. Why, why would anybody ever eat bread? And you would just drink like liquids and stuff. Like that—that that stuff is is good. It's raw. It's fiber. Maybe I don't know if there's okay. much fiber in bread, <laughs> but that's yeah. Yeah. Good. You know, the dead horse is beaten. All right, let's move on. <laughs> you, you know, you know, I want to talk about bread versus cheese, and which one is better for your uh, feeling. Oh, I'm allowed. I, oh, oh, I am allowed to talk about that. Yeah. No, nope, no problem with permission. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a permission thing. Sorry about that instant shower. I'm thing. allowed. That Believe you me. <laughs> All right. Well, here, let's listen to this oh. message from John Webster. All right. Well, hi, John. Hey, uh, hey, Jimmy. If yeah. You were, if you'd like to know what the uh, if uh, bird or what's uh, what's no. Me, uh, Carl. What the rent is? Uh, once come, once come over to, uh, later today. Uh, You're I mean, today, yesterday, John. <laughs> and the office will be open about eight o'clock. Uh, and it'll stay open till five five o'clock. Uh, so once you come over, he came over and, yesterday. And find out what the rent is, and, and right next door to me, apartment six. He's gonna be moving in, moving out. Oh! So once you, uh, what, well, once you, once you, John, one of you come over and find out what the, she can, uh, you know, she can come over to, and you can move, move in right close to me. Nobody has any plans to move in. Show, with you, John. Uh, well, the, in apartment six. Yeah. Thanks for Give the call, offer, please. but. Why don't you come over later today? Uh, Thank you. We came over yesterday, John. Here's the next message. It's kind of hard to pick up and move someone's life um, in a blink of 24 hours. Hey, Kenny. Yes? I was just wondering, could you, um, I was wondering if you'd like to do your show when uh, the apartment right next door to me is going to be uh, to be vacant, uh, you should uh, check. You should uh, check uh, the manager. His name is Ted, and you should uh, give him. You should uh, give him a call. Uh, uh, you should give him a call. Uh, you know, he closes up at five o'clock, and he'll be uh, so. And he'll open. He'd open up at eight o'clock, but not on. Uh, not on. Not on Sunday. Not what, not on Sundays, but on the weekdays. Uh, he's open at eight o'clock in the morning. So you should uh, come. You should come. Uh, you should come see. Uh, well, she can have uh, your show right next door to me in apartment in apartment six. Why don't you give me a call? Hello. Why don't you give me a call there, uh, oh, Kenny? Oh, blocking you. Thank you. <clears throat> Info time. Now it's info time. 
Here are answers to some frequently asked questions about the program. You're watching it right now. It's called Your Daily Hour with Me. It's a call-in television talk show that's filmed right here in Thurston County every day of the year. It airs every night, 11.30 p.m. on Channel 22 and 2 a.m. on Low Power FM at 2 a.m. Each episode broadcasts a week after what saved you in watching this on TV at 11.30 p.m. This episode taped the same weekday of the previous week. If you're watching this at 2 a.m., this episode taped the same day of the month of the previous year. You can also watch any episode of the program on YouTube.com. Anyone can come on the program, especially you. We rely on the community for content, so give us a call at 360-836-4384 and leave a message. We'll call you back on the next episode. Thank you for tuning in, and now back to the program. Are you doing bobblehead? I had welcome on my head. Intentional. We're back. Intentional bobblehead. Intentional bobblehead. Have you ever met John Webster, Luke? Yeah. I met the John Webster on the show once. Here? No. Or on TV. He was over there at the, at the studio. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. John used to come out to CCTV. He should come out to the Cream of the County Awards. He should. It's a moral imperative on him. He really should. What does that mean? If he doesn't come, then he's immoral? Yeah, yeah. he's bad. He's evil if it's he doesn't come. It's immoral not to go to it. That's right. <laughs> it's a virtue to go and a vice not to. <laughs> Oh, Luke. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> oh, you. Hello, John? Hey. Hi. Hey, My name I is John Webster, oh. <laughs> and I was... It's that robot thing. And He's if you want to give me a call, call me at... La, 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 Two five zero. La 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 John's cell phone, anyway. We gotta call his home phone. Okay. <laughs> get the home phone going. Uh, make it. Well, make, why make do his people home phone leave make their a noise. phone numbers <laughs> in the message? A, as in the message. This is the number as, we just called. I'm sorry that you haven't called um, 8, 360-836-4384. Call 360-836-4384 again. John was That's hey John, it's the program. <sighs> um, kind of pissed off. I don't know where my remote control is. Did you look in the cracks of the couch? What? Did you look in the cracks of the couch? I did. Did you look behind the couch? I'm gonna get a new, good new one. I'm pissed off. I have to, I have to keep this other control on channel, on channel four. You don't have to get a you don't have to get a new one, John. Your other one is. I'm gonna get. Uh, uh, that's gonna that's gonna gonna give me one tom tom uh, tomorrow. Oh, John, you don't need a new one. You, your your old one is in your couch somewhere. I'm sure. I'm I'm sure. Oh, I checked. Do you want to come over and find I don't want to come over. How long did you look for it? All all night. Like starting right when? Now, um, no, I, I know on Channel 7 it's uh, uh, Blue, Blood is, Blue Blood's on. I'm missing it. What what time did you lose? About uh, what time did you lose your remote? Uh, a little bit after s six o'clock. Last night? A little bit after six o'clock tonight. Yep. Oh, then you haven't even been looking for very long, John. That's only been a couple of hours. I've been looking for it a long time. Did you go anywhere? Yep. Where'd you go? I don't know. You don't know where you went in the last four hours? It was, you you could have kicked it. Off. Well, he could have kicked it underneath the, the um, uh, chairs or, or whatever. Did, did you, uh, did they, you, did you uh, leave your apartment in the last couple, since 6 o'clock, John? Nope. Oh, then right, it's got to be in your apartment right somewhere. Uh, a little bit after six, I put up my cha chair and everything else, and... Uh, it's got to be somewhere around there. 
don't don't be too You're hard on yourself. Done. Well, done. Sometimes people are absent minded. They put their uh, remotes in their refrigerators. Did it you? Has oh yeah. Jo before. John, did you check your refrigerator? It's not on my. It's not on there. No, no. I mean on the inside. Did, did you look inside the fridge? It's not in there either. How do you know? It, I already had some potato, some cottage cheese. Oh, uh, you already looked in the fridge though. Did you eat yeah. that? Did you eat the pizza I left there, John? What? Did you eat the pizza that I left in your fridge? Yeah, but it did. I I had to throw it away. It's it's uh I hey I was eating another one that was getting too hard. It was getting and too was hard. Yes, I was eating. I was eating. I was eating it, uh, and then all of a sudden uh, I was I lost my control. I lost my. Xfinity uh, uh, thing. You lost a remote while you were eating the pizza? Pardon? You lost a remote while you were yeah. eating pizza? Yeah, I was e eating it when I was uh, about quarter to after, I was eating the last one about quarter after six. Oh, no. Hey, John, did you look uh -huh. like, did you look deep in the ca in the couch cushions? You yeah. know, like sometimes it gets way back there. If you want to come over and uh, I don't want to come over, John. I don't know did where you, it is. Did you try? Did, I know you don't know where it is, but maybe you can find it. You just got to keep looking. Did you? Oh, I don't know where it is. Yeah, I'm it's. I know where it is, John. It's in your couch. It's in that couch where you sit. I guarantee it. You could also have kicked it underneath the couch. Did you look underneath the couch? It's not in. I don't. We checked everything. No, I, had no, I mean hands. But, I had but, a person from Kakura look for it too. Yeah, but you, John, you, you could you, get on your hands and feet, and maybe it's on the floor. You worked all night. Did you? But you didn't. You didn't go anywhere. It, it can't just go away. We looked all night. Yeah, but it's got to be there somewhere, John. Just because you looked all it night. It was an old one anyway, because it, I had tape. I had tape on it. You can find it, John. It's got to be somewhere. It's, look, look in the chair. Did you look you in your chair? Any place. What? I can't find it any place. Yeah, John, I know you can't find it, but it's there. You just gotta keep looking. You're like, I know it's I can't. It's frustrating to keep looking, and maybe you don't want to keep looking, but it's there. You didn't go anywhere. You can't just go away. It's somewhere in that couch. You just haven't found it yet. I did. I did look every place. Honest. You no. I know you. You couldn't have looked every place because it's there. You, you I'm, didn't, not, I'm not calling you a liar. You didn't leave your apartment since you lost it. So it means that it's somewhere in your apartment. You, I was wondering if, uh, uh, the, I was wondering if you could do your show, uh, uh, because next, uh, the apartment in apartment six, uh, he's moving out. I was wondering if you could, uh, you, I was wondering if you could, uh, I'd like the movie. I would like you to have your show right next uh, door to me in apartment six. No, I can't do that, John. It's too. It's too much. I can't effort. rent a whole apartment. You can't rent a whole. You think apartment I'm a millionaire, John? We don't have a budget. It'll be fun. Yeah, are well, you gonna pay for it? I can. Uh, I could just knock on the door and and, and then I'll be on the. I'll be on the show uh, in apartment six. You gonna pay for it? Pardon? Are you going to pay for it? Well, you, you, have, you can find out how much the rent, you can find out how much the rent is from, uh... Is it free? <laughs> yeah, what? Is it no rent? It's, he's, he's, uh, the person that's moving out, he's going to be moving out, uh, because he wants, uh, he wants a home. Okay. Well, yeah, well, this program operates on a no budget policy. We have so no budget. We have no money to spend oh, for... Oh, hey, hey, John, are you wearing the same pants that you were wearing at 6 o'clock? Uh, no. Hey, why don't you go check your pants that you were wearing then? No, they're not They're not around. Go look in your pants. Go look in... Maybe they're in, your, in the pants in your pocket. Go check those pants. They're not in there. Have Honestly. you looked? Have you looked, John? Honest, honest. No, I'm not calling you a liar, but go check your pants. 
No, they're not in there either. Well, you don't know until you check, John. You gotta check. They're not in there. I know you're saying that, but I want you to go look at them and then to make sure. I don't. I don't know. Honest. I know that you you don't know, but if you, I think that maybe I'm trying to help you, John. Just look in your pants. Is it that hard? I, I don't know where it is. Honest. Yeah, I know you don't know. I'm trying to help you find it. I don't know where it is, honest. I know, John. I'm trying to help you find it. Go look at your pants. Go go to your room and find those pants that you were wearing before. They're not in there either, honest. You have to they're check, the, John. You don't know that. In the, ha in the hamper. Yeah, go check the hamper, John. I'm helping you out. Go it's look at the. It's not in there either. It's not in there. Have honest. you looked? Have you looked, John? Or are you just saying that? Because I had it. Uh, I had. I had jeans on. Yeah. I'm so. Wearing, and I'm wearing. Uh, d I'm wearing. Uh, d I'm wearing the jeans that I had on, and it's not. A, not around. Oh, you are wearing them now. You didn't change. Yeah, I, I changed. So go ch go go to the hamper and look at those pants, John. Not in there, honest. Go look, John. Go look. Just, just, just appease me and go look, okay? No, they're not in there. John, if you don't look, I'm, I'm seriously gonna hang up. You gotta go find them. <laughs> they're not in there, honest. Go look, John. I don't, I don't. I want you to go, get up and look in them. Okay. I'm bringing the phone with me, and I'll just tell you it's not in there. Okay. Okay. They're good. Do it, please. It's not in there, no. You you went and checked? But um, I got the thing open. Did you you actually went got up and looked? Yeah, I'm right here in the bedroom. And it's not in your pants? In it's not in there. Alright, okay, good. Well see John, now you've eliminated that as a possibility though. Before you didn't know it could have been in there. It's not in there. Yeah, now I believe you. So, did you check, like, you know, sometimes in, in, at least in some couches, there's a spot, like, where things can fall in, inside the couch. Have you tried picking? Oh, uh, everybody looked, uh, even the people from Kokoro looked for it, too. I know, I, I have, I have a lot of experience with losing the remote, and I have some hidden secrets in couches where maybe they don't know about. John? Yeah, I'm did you here. Did you try to pick up the couch? Yeah, we looked uh, under the couch. Uh, I had uh, someone uh, someone did it uh, for me. It could be it could be in in the guts of the couch, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes there's a spot like a hollow spot on the bottom of the couch. Like if you reach under your couch on the bottom there's this kind of like uh, We did. We did. We did. I know. We I did. know, John. Quit repeating yourself. There's a cloth on the bottom there's a piece of cloth and sometimes things fall in the space between the cushions and this he cloth. Did. No, did. you didn't, John. I, John, don't interrupt me. I'm telling you. I'm telling you something that's going to help you, John. I'm not. I'm not. I'm trying to help you. There's a there's a cloth under the under the couch. See, you feel under the couch? Can you feel under there? No, uh, I. They're not in there, honest. John, I'm helping you. Quit saying honest. They're not in there, honest. You don't know that, John. You gotta look for stuff. I'm telling. Hey, look, hey, look, honest. I had uh, someone from Coco look for it. Yeah, John. I know more about couches than they do. I'm telling you. They, 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 they he looked and we looked up the couch and everything else. There's a spot under the couch <laughs> where there's a piece of cloth, like where stuff. We did. You, no, you didn't, we John. Did. Did you we look in the spot in the middle of the couch under the out. cushions, between the spot between the cushions and the fabric where stuff falls and not under the floor? He left up and that with thing out, too. Is there... Just uh, answer my question, John. Is there a spot under the couch where you feel under the couch? Is there a piece of cloth under the couch that's connected, like, that covers the, the bottom? There's no cloth. There's no cloth. I bet there is, John. No metal. It's me. frustrating, John. John, I know you, you just gotta keep, like... Don't don't get frustrated, and I can tell by your speech right now that you're not 
looking in an organized manner. Don't be mad about your loss of remote. Just continue to look. The person don't get caught. Look at the couch. Yeah, but you have to look in the same spot again. Like, you know, you keep looking in the same spot. You think it's not in there, and then you just keep going through. John. Look at every spot every time, and then you repeat the process. Some, it's often, it's often when you lose things. Often when you lose things, John, it's in the same place where you looked, and you look, and you look. And yeah. then you look again, and it's there yeah. that time. And you're like, yeah. I looked in the same place. The coffee table and everything else, too. You think? It's not around. It's it's somewhere, John. So don't. what you have to do is just keep looking. I know it's going to get frustrating, but you'll find it eventually. Oh, All you got to do is keep looking. Get a new one anyway, at about you, 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 don't give up that point. easily, John. You don't need to do that. No, I'm going to get a new one. Yeah, th that costs money, John, but... Um, I would want to ask whether or not you have uh, traveled on your hands and knees uh, on the floor to look for the um, remote or have you just lifted the cushions and it's like, oh, I can't find it. So it's, it's missing, it's disappeared. Uh, if you're traveling on your hands and feet to search for the remote, you know, it could be underneath the couch it's itself. Not under there, honest. Well, okay. All John, right. It's not. It's not that you're being honest or not. You don't know. You don't know where it is. It could be any of these places. When you're saying honest, you don't even know. You you need to we have a, a, a repeated pattern to search for something because um, even if you search for it, um, it might you know turn up the the third time that you look at a specific spot or the fifth time that you look at a specific spot. You just got to give yourself time and patience and energy to find it. Okay, John. Well, you you keep looking, John. It's not... I, I know it's yeah, there. We did. We did all night. Well, it's not, it's not... It hasn't been all night. It's still the night. I even told uh, Comcast that uh, it, I looked for it too. Yeah, you think Com Comcast? I mean, uh, they, they don't know, John. You just got to keep trying. You don't give up. That's the only way you can get anything done, John. Don't give up so easily. Well, I looked. I can't okay, find well, it What do you think happened to the remote? What, do you, what happened to the remote, John? If it's not in your couch, where is it? What happened to it? It went away? You think somebody took it with them? Well, when, after you're done with your show, why don't you come over and look, help me look for it? Well, how am I supposed to get over there, John? You, but you gotta do it yourself. You can do it. it the remote says doesn't just appear. It's somewhere in your couch. You can always sleep on this problem and come back to it tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning would be a brand new day. Just too. keep looking, John, and don't be pissed off about losing a remote. That's not going to help you. Get calm. Calm yourself down and look for the remote, just in a calm manner. Well, I have the, I have the Comcast look, Comcast guy look for it. No, you got to do it yourself. You can do it yourself, John. I believe in you. I believe in you, John. You got to believe in yourself. You can do it. You can find it. You can find the remote. It's in your couch. Do not. I did, honest. I know you're not. Yeah, don't okay. quit saying honest, John. It's not like we're trying to make you a liar. You keep making it sound like we're trying to make you a liar. I'm trying to help you. You can find it. Nobody's saying you're dishonest. I I think you would rather not spend fifteen I or twenty five anyway. or thirty dollars. It is for a brand new remote. Whatever, John. Um. All right. Well, have a good time looking for your remote. You got anything else you want to say today? What? Do you have anything else you want to say today? Uh, just, uh, just been at home all day. Good. Well, John, you can, if you haven't left the house, your remote is in the couch, and, and I want you to keep looking for it and don't give up, but I don't think you're going to do that. I think you're going to give up. And also, it's a little bit frustrating. Okay? No, I don't know where it is, honest. I know you're honest, John. You don't know where it is, but it's somewhere in your couch. I'm telling you, I know where it is. It's in the couch. Honest. Well, after you're done with your show, why don't you come over here? Well, you can do it yourself, John. I'm going to hang up. you got to find a remote. Okay, bye. We'll, we'll talk to you later, John. Have a good night. After you're done with your show, no. come over now. No. Have a good night, John. 
Okay. Bye. Good luck. Find Bye. a find a remote. Don't give up. I lost so many remotes. Bye. I mean, I lose the same remote every day. I guess I'm not so many remotes. Not I've lost a, a large amount of remotes. It's the same one over and over and over. I keep on losing my keys. <laughs> Let's have some ads. And I could laugh about it. Coming up on the next episode of the program. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, we told you it was a commercial break. Really? I know it's a commercial break. I'm effing with you. <laughs> okay, well, we got Mr. Gensu on the phone. I'm Carl, this is Kenny, and... I'm Mr. Gensu. This is a commercial for your daily hour with me. We're on every night at 11.30 yeah, you- and 2 a.m. on TCTV channel 22 and COA 106.5 at 2 a.m. So check us out at YDHWM.com. 106.5 106.5 low power FM Muffins Oh, mahogany? Okay oh, Mahogany <laughs> No, we're saying things You don't remember that, Carl? <laughs> you remember we're just saying whatever we Universe? Comes to mind. Okay <laughs> We're just saying whatever comes to mind at that spot It doesn't need to be anything And the people are going to call in And they're going to be like Hey, what about mahogany? And then we're going to be like What? What are you talking about? <laughs> it's a trap, man <laughs> It's a bait for looking stupid Oh well, no, but it's then a trap. I'm gonna be, I'm I gonna just, be the one I'm that looks stupid because they're gonna say, "Well, I saw the thing. It's a call in about it." And I'm gonna say, "Oh, good, you're doing it." It's a trap. I just, I'm not wearing that fish. Head, it's a trap. That Star Wars, you know, costume. Is that, is that the only person who ever said it's a trap? Admiral. Yeah, let's, right <laughs> let's get our Admiral <laughs> Akbar. Yeah, let's get our Admiral <laughs> Akbar costume on you, <laughs> so you can say it's a trap. Uh, have people believe you when you say it with authority like that. There really must be a trap. Because uh, somebody in Admiral Akbar costume said so. Okay. Better believe it. Here's the thing about phones. They make that funny noise right there. Listen to that. <laughs> well, listen to Check that out. Isn't that, isn't that funny? You know, I, I lose so many things. I think it's maybe because of this kind of thing. But, um, <laughs> hey, you yeah. over. but I there's a... Uh, right now. But so if many. You me a nice message, then no, I'll, I'll call, call you back, back as, as soon as I can. can. Thanks a lot. Hey, Freddy, it's the program. You can call us back. You <laughs> have about um, 17 minutes left on the program. Thank you. <laughs> but <laughs> it's just you know it's some you know that it's in the vicinity of where you are, and it couldn't have gotten anywhere else. But I don't know how this stuff gets places. It's sometimes like way under things. Yeah. Or like way back there, and it's like, how did that even happen? Because you're <laughs> sometimes you like you like have it in your hand, you you like your phone or whatever, or your remote. I you mean, do, yeah, you're, fuck you're doing yeah. Thing. Where's the remote? <laughs> how did that disappear? You know, you do like the thing with a remote, and you know you're you're sitting here and playing with stuff, and then and then you go like, oh, oh. And then you, you you turn around, you maybe you use the restroom or something, you come back. It's completely like way in the bottom part of the, of the thing. It's like how did it get like had to get like shoved down there somehow? But maybe you just, right, like, and you and you don't have any pets to blame or anything. Yeah, but somehow it gets like way down in the guts of the couch. Yeah. I actually have a habit of ripping, ripping off the. Um, you know what I'm talking about when I was telling John to rip off the or the the cloth bottom of the couch. Yeah, it's yeah. like it, it's kind of. Billowy, that little cloth down there. It's yeah. usually black or something. Yeah, and, and then it, 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 it it's billows. White, it's white on uh, um, box springs. But is that is that kind of thing only on those couch beds where the bed comes out of it? No, no. I think it's no, on it's, a lots of couches. It's on lots of furniture. But lots of the time, like yeah. box springs in in couches. Lots of yeah. the time, there you get a little hole in the crack, like back yeah. here, and then stuff falls into that spot. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> Uh, when Freddy ripped open that thing, he found a lot of treasure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That uh, thing? You mean on, on this couch right here? No, no. Like the, uh, like the silky spider web. You, you know, the underpinnings that lead directly to the bottom of, you know, like the floor or whatever. Because I think he, he had a, a party house for a while. So people were, uh, lots of people were sitting on that couch. So when he cracked it open, it was just full of treasure. Oh, yeah, that. Let's call him Mr. Gensu. He tried to call us yesterday, I remember, at the end of the show, so I think he would be happy to hear from us. He probably would. Is it Halloween for you, sir? 
It looks like it's Halloween for you, sir. Aye, me lucky charms. It's my meta hat. <laughs> what? I got my hat, and then I got my meta hat. What are you wearing <laughs> that silly hat for? Meta meta hat. Halloween or Regular what? hat? Meta hat. It's a uh, leprechaun. Hello? What's going down? We're on the couch. You know, do you Gravity's know- Gravity's going down, bro. Do you know Luke? Hey, I want to see how you all squeeze your head. I, I'll I'll let you squeeze your own head before you squeeze my head. Hey, shut, shut the fuck <laughs> up. I'll come down there and kick so hard. Your no, foot will really bounce off. You that need to find me before you can kick me. Do you, do you know Luke, <laughs> Mr. Gensu? Pardon? Do you know Luke? Luke, what's going on, motherfucker? I'm okay, motherfucker. Do you recognize him, though? Do you recognize his name? I'm on the no. crew list. No. You don't. Yeah. You don't remember him. Um. No. Sorry. You've right. talked to him before, right, Luke? You've talked to Mr. Ginsu before, right? Only a sentence or two. You yeah. remember what you talked to him about? Hell no. Oh, okay. Carl, <laughs> <laughs> <Kyle>, motherfucker. <laughs> Carl's giggling. Hola, Cobo I love that. He's giggling. Hey, uh, he likes that when you giggle. Uh, Snort. What's going? <laughs> What's going on, Mr. You, you see anything? You see anything on the streets? I saw something. Uh huh. What the fuck? I saw somebody driving down the road with the, the car, car had been bitched by something. I figured it's probably a deer or something. I seen like three deer out. Four deer killed all at once. Oh, you saw dead deer? Wow. Yeah. Ooh. Three or four of them in the road all at once got whacked. Dang. By somebody. Was it a family? I guess somebody took the whole fucking thing out. You should go eat them. <laughs> they were smushed by cars. Oh, they're already gross and old? I'm not kidding um, about eating them. Yeah, though. I guess it's probably old because I, I didn't leave my house for a while, so I didn't see them. But. I figured they was like, oh, that's pretty gray. You should eat them. I mean, otherwise you're going to let them rot instead of eating them. Or it sounds, I think it's good eats. Road deer, road, road deer. Because there's not even any bullets in them. Right. Maybe, maybe bone fragments. Maybe you they have to watch, watch, watch where you, you're chewing on. Yeah, there's no bullets in them. They're uh, tenderized. <laughs> Tenderized by cars rolling over them. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but I'm sure they do a lot of damage to your car. That's that's scary. So what? How how damaged was that car you saw driving around? Was like how was that car even driving? It was pretty fucked up. Um. Yeah. And what what really scares me if you, if I was ever to hit something like that. I mean, I probably wouldn't, because me and deer have a thing. I don't hit them, and they don't fucking run like a motherfucker and freak out. Uh, sounds good. You have an agreement with the deer. Yeah. It was signed and notarized. <laughs> um, well, yeah. so oh, I was going to ask you, have you ever hit a deer with your car before? Nope. Me neither. I've never even come close to it, though. I've never hit a damn thing with your car. I've come so fucking close, 50, 100 times. Yeah? But never hit them. I come close. I could reach out and touch them motherfuckers several times, but no, nope, don't hit them. Well, it sounds like your agreement's not working out too well, then. I thought the agreement was that they're not going to do that to you. But see, I get through without hitting them. That's the deal. There's a few, I mean, a few of them wig out. But fucking, most of them will just stand there. You know, a couple of them run down the fucking road, straight down the fucking road. Like, I think, I think that's a kind of a deal you have with everything when you're in a car. Is I'm not going to hit them. They're not going to be hit, right? I mean, is that's the deal? Like, that's what you the deal you have with like rocks and trees. Yeah, but a deer, you can hit a deer, and that fucker come through your windshield, and then it's still alive and trying to get the fuck out of your car mm -hmm. and you're you're still in your car and, and kick it's you in like, the face. I'm all out and they don't know how to get the fuck out. So, so it freaks out kick you in the face. Uh pretty fucking much. You get kicked fucking all sorts it's of like ways. On, like on Tommy Boy. 
But Spoilers. In, uh, <laughs> that's my worst nightmare right there. Yeah, oh, your worst nightmare is getting a deer in your car and having it freak out and kick you in the face. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty scary. I bet they're pretty strong. They can, they can probably kick pretty good. I bet they could. That is a big old elk. Yeah. Holy fuck. Hey, it's, a bear or something? it's time for the final you dice game. Anything? You want a number? Um, three. Nope, not yet. Let's see. So far, nobody has any points, right? Luke, no points. Right. Carl, no points. Bad. It's any, anyone's game here. Mr. Kinto has no shake. points. You ever see that move? That, that, oh, oh. oh, I lost again. Oh no, I got 500 points. I got I got something too. You got 500 points. I got a I, w I picked five. Five. We, we'll be, we both picked five. Oh, wow. I have a two. Okay. I have a two. We all tied except Mr. Ginsu. Mr. Ginsu, Ginsu, you lost. No th no threes. Hey, that's not fair. Why? I guess it is. That's fair. It's fair enough. Yeah. It's I fair. I was just trying to freaking come up with something. <laughs> it's fair. I was gonna say. I was gonna say it's fair. Uh, it's not as much as we won. But today you lost, really, Mr. Ginsu. I know. I, I get it. Yeah. You can't win, can't win them all. Yeah, yeah. It's true. Um, so we're getting the, we're getting down to it now. We have about eight minutes left on the program. Yeah. We're it's getting the, down to it's it. the end. So you it's saw that the end. saw that video where the deer comes through the bus windshield. Yeah, I saw that. Freaks out and yeah, that was neat. It's viral. Did you uh? Did you have any any other topics or anything you wanted to talk about today before the show's over, Mr. Ginsu? Um, nothing, uh, nothing, uh, nothing specific. Didn't, didn't have any plans. I could have talked about earlier, but fucking, you weren't around, so I didn't say nothing. Okay. Um, but how's now that? I can't fucking remember what the fuck you were. How's, so. how's that door? How's that door you installed for privacy? How's that working out for you? Yeah, uh, perfect. And guess what? What? My Chicken sister butt. used the bathroom. Your sister used the bathroom. What? And, you, and she didn't want to use it before because you had no... Privacy? Uh, door? Probably. Your sister is coming over to your place? What? She came over here and we did it for a while. I thought you were, uh, uh, so you, uh... You made up with her then? She's not your worst enemy anymore? semi sir. Well, that's good. Is she going to come over for Thanksgiving? I don't want to eat nothing with her food for Thanksgiving. I don't want. I don't want them to do that shit. Well, but at least you got over the major grudge, and you're allowing her into your space. Something like that. Because I remember before you were, you had a very strong grudge against her. That's right. That's right. But well, she was kind of a fucking bitch. Uh huh. But it got better, yeah. huh? Yep, yep, so, well, fucking, I don't have much choice in the matter and shit. Anyway, so fucking, I might as well fucking... D does she know about the program? The past, just let the past be what the past is and try to move on and fucking, you know. Do, do your, do your, do your, does your friends and family know about the program? What? Do your friends and family know that you're talking to a TV show all the time? A few. They, yeah. Do they watch it? Which few? Some. Okay, good. So your your friends and family, some of them they know me too, from TV. Yep. Yep. Okay. I just imagined that that would be if you didn't tell anybody and you were just doing. <laughs> No, actually, I told this one guy, and he ended up going, showing mother, his mother, or his stepmother, and uh, I was like, well, thanks a lot, you little fucking rat bastard. I told you that's supposed to be a secret. Oh, it's supposed to be a secret. Do they call you Mr. Ginsu? Do you hear any of them? But she didn't mind. She didn't mind. She you knows they got foul mouth anyway, fucking... Your friends call you Mr. Ginsu. You should put you could put a, at a um, McDonald's when they ask you your name, Mr. Ginsu. Uh, yeah, do when you go to a restaurant, you know when they take your reservation, tell them your name is Mr. Ginsu. <laughs> Not that you go to restaurants. Hey, that, I'll come down there. Yeah, you're threatening me because I'm telling you a fun activity you could be doing. 
I'm not sure. What kind of reservations am I supposed to be giving? You go to a restaurant and you get a reservation or whatever. Or you know when you give them your name, you got to wait in the waiting room. Right. You can tell them Mr. Ginsu. And what's that supposed to do for me? I don't know. Be fun. <laughs> for fun. Because it's, no, it's not your real name. You can tell them that. Well, okay. maybe outside of Thurston County, maybe nobody's going to get that inside joke. Well, it's not a joke. It's just fun. It's just like, hey. Well, I don't know well that's like what I'm going to do in the next time I, d I get a reservation. I'm going to call myself Mr. Ginsu. Yeah, I think I was over in uh, <laughs> New Mexico. I think it was New Mexico. No, it must have been Colorado. We went to this fucking little town out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Goddamn... God damn, what a fucking hellhole that was. But I walked into this fucking tavern fucking place, and they fucking, uh, well, they kicked me out. For what? What? Because I didn't have some sort of reservation, and there's, like, hardly nobody there. You're it's talking? like a bar on Main Street of this town. You're and, uh, You're supposed to have a reservation? What? I guess I didn't have a reservation. That seems odd. Um, yeah. So you need a really, reservation. It, That's it not usually how bars work. Time. It really pissed me off at the time. But I was outside because I was not inside eating. I was outside and a black man walked into that same place. Uh-huh. And then he walked back out. Why? Were they racist? Is that what you're saying? Well, let's just say that probably saved them people's life. What? What, what did? What are you talking about? The fact that the black man walked out of that place because I was—I don't know what the fuck, man. That was bullshit. What are you? What and, are you? What are you uh, saying? But I figured if they're gonna be non-racial and uh, just kick everybody out. So what you're, basi them. You thought what that you're basically saying is don't set reservations in Podrug Town. You thought right? you thought maybe they were racist <laughs> against whatever race you are and that they liked black people more than you. You thought you no, were, no, were no. you worried about getting discriminated against yourself? Is that what's going on? What? Well, welcome to it. This is America. Pretty sure Mr. Gins is white. I don't have any proof. But, uh, you, what, so what happened when you got, you, did you, why did the black guy leave? What, what, what's going on? He didn't have a, re a re reservation either? They told him to leave too. <laughs> so what, what, what's the, why are you telling us about the black what's guy? The moral I don't, of the story? I don't understand the connection between the black guy and you being not as upset. I'm saying I wasn't the only one that got kicked the fuck out. So, I mean, so... So, so it doesn't matter. Equal opportunity to kick her out. It, 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 it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter if it's a black guy or not. That was kind of incidental. Is that, is that what I'm picking up now? No, I don't know what you're picking up. You're what? probably picking up three out of the fucking. Why? Why does it matter that he was a black guy? Mister Mister Mister. No, but why, why does it matter? Why does it matter that he's a black guy? Instead of just Why does it matter what I fucking think or what I say? Well, I don't Why know. You told the story. To you, I'm just trying to get the details out of the story. Whatever. I don't know. Hey, it's the end of the show. Hey, we made it through another you. episode of the program without losing consciousness or dying. We came close, though. Oh, hell yeah. Through the what revolt, talking now about? talking about black men. Yeah, what? what oh, is, I don't man. know why you called him a black guy and just a guy. I mean, it's okay. It's, it's, it's okay that you said that. I just I thought that was part of the story was that the race of the guy was going to be a part of the story. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, okay, that's okay. Well, hey, thanks, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Thanks so, for that's that good. Story done. Thanks, Mr. Ginsu. Thanks, John Webster. I wish I could yeah, high five you right ass. now, but you're some other kind of people are lucky. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Episode number and date and day of the week. Thank you. <laughs> TV channel 22. Hey, Thank you, Green. 30 p.m. and 2 a.m. Why is WM.com? Full archive online for free. Yeah, 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 Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube? Not yet. Fuck it. 360 8360384. Leave a message. Get on TV. Yeah. 
crew you guys want yeah, to be on the crew? Yeah. I'm on the crew. You don't have to do anything <laughs> if you want, though. Oh, God. UFO, FBI? Yes. Oh, I'm going to find you one. Do you see Tony? Do you see Tony? I'm going to find you one. I'm going to find you one. I'm going to find you one. USA, thank you. Viewers and listeners, I see you're watching. Thank you. Hell yeah, dog. You need to love more often. Love more often. Take a hold, Shut up. Bye. 